I don't know about you, but I feel like this time of the year is the time that I feel like the day slips away from me. I find myself bringing new tasks to my next to-do list for the next day, and a lot of things have to do with the goats, like checking on them, making sure they don't have worms, trimming their hooves, and that way I can concentrate on the babies when they're born. I also like to check their colors because sometimes like this little boy they're growing and they just need a little bit more room. I've also been training my first fresheners and reminding <laughs> the ones that are pros what it means to be on the stand. Reminding them of their routine and helping them along. Now this takes a lot of time out of my day. And as I mentioned, I've been working also on the inside of the trailer as well as cleaning outside. So let me give you a tour today. Now this under here is my daughter's bed so this is kind of my daughter's bedroom <laughs> believe it or not she always jokes that this is like the harry potter stuff so this is not everything that i have in my pantry i do have some other stuff in the kitchen cupboards the stuff like some canned goods I can myself or friends gave me because I feel like this is too much light and it will make things go bad so because of that I kind of keep this canned goods that I think can take a little bit more of the heat than you know when they are in glass containers and the light can go right through them so I keep them on this side I have all my baking stuff up there my oils and stuff kind of to the side because of the light and again it's looking kind of sad my pantry at this moment i didn't mean to do like some kind of tour but keep my potatoes up there that's my dehydrator that's where i hide some snacks behind our this is a some kind of green tea that we drink and it comes from brazil so <laughs> that's why this is like a precious thing and I am kind of covering it there. I also have some treats of soda that we get every once in a while. And if there are some cookies, now everyone knows, in this household, they're hiding there. Now, typically this is full of fruit, but recently I haven't been buying that much fruit unless it fits in the basket that I have on the table. Because at this time of the year, I don't find things taste the same. And so we have some canned stuff we put away last fall. And that's what we're mostly eating. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the only fridge that we have here. And as you can see, it's a tiny fridge or a mini fridge. So because of that, I just can't keep a lot of stuff inside the fridge. I mean... I love it. I love that I get to have a fridge, but the other one broke and we're but we're still trying to figure out what's wrong with this. Let's hope stuff down there. And then here I have all my bowls and all my basics of cooking that won't fit in there. I also have since my daughter is away in college, typically this is her closet and it will be her closet when she comes back for the summer. But right now, she has all her stuff in those three drawers, and the rest is in college with her. And these are all my basic cooking things like, you know, the cheese shredder that I use for making hash browns. And this to cut potatoes into cubes and vegetables and stuff, and I do love that. And I have just some of my basic cooking stuff in here. Again... So here's the pantry, and then here at the bottom is my daughter's bed. <laughs> and it has another window over there that kind of overlooks where the goats are and the ducks. So 
right now we don't have it made we don't have any pillows or anything here because she's not here but when she as soon as she comes back this is gonna be her bed again I love this blanket I got it from my mother-in-law this is uh, I don't know kind of that wool material I think it's all wool and it was made she got it in Utah but it was made here in Oregon in Pendleton so which I thought was kind of meant to be <laughs> so that's pretty much an overview of my pantry slash daughter's bedroom slash kitchen storage but soon to be a closet again well, and this is why I had to make all these changes because of this I am doing my seeds inside this year last year I was able in the hotbed to grow all my seeds but it was let me show you it was such a nightmare because of all the bugs that are alive at this time of the year where tomatoes shouldn't be outside so I did Martino's Roma I put 39 seeds this is by Baker Creek I had it for a couple of years and I don't know if you can see but they are sprouting you see this green here this green here this green here and I planted this on February 14th and look at that can you see how beautiful they are and look at this guess what this is miniature bell peppers 17 seeds so 16 and with this one 17 so let's check if we have anything sprouting oh look there's this tiny little sprout there but as you can see then I also had some cherry tomatoes I only put 15 seeds or ter by territorial seeds and you can see all the green I am just so super excited for all this so much so that I decided to rearrange my entire pantry slash daughter's bedroom to kind of fit this by the window and make sure that I have really good strong starts for my garden this year because I want to do all the good things for my garden this year and underneath <laughs> this is gonna be funny these are just some um, let me see they're called pantry storage it holds 21 cups and it has like a removable pour spout which I thought it was so good I don't really love it that much but it's useful in some occasions this is dishwasher safe the top rack only I don't have a dishwasher I wash them by hands before I started using them and I think they're the best thing in the entire world right now it's holding my seeds but when I need to use them I have the room to set the seeds here and just pick up whatever I need I have some flour in this one which is actually for produce but don't need it for produce right now here I have some rice and then I have some flour and here I have some sugar but you want to see what my favorite sugar is sugar cubes oh, they're the best thing invented in the entire world I did not know that sugar cubes existed to be honest with you I thought it was like an old-timer thing uh, and this is for powder sugar but I have this here and I use it every day I put a couple of cubes and that's it and you go inside with your mom come on it's time to go in. Go eat. I need hay. Good night. <laughs>